what we got today. Best day of the week, guys. Guess what it is? Shoulder day. I got a good one for you. We got some newer-ish things we're gonna be doing today, but I'm excited. Shoulder day is the best. If you don't like shoulders, we can't be best friends. Sorry. Let's go! Do what I do! Work like I still got something to prove! Let's go! All I do! Work like I still got something to prove! Feeling in bed. Is it okay to cheat reps? Yeah, Arnold did it. If all your reps are cheat reps, then that's no good. If there's maybe two or three reps that are cheat reps at the end, I see them as a source of like overload. The only way to change is to somehow do something harder than you did the last time. You cannot change without adversity. So you need to maybe do one or two, maybe three cheat reps where you have a partner spotting you through, maybe your form isn't quite as good where you're using other muscles. There is some instances where cheat reps are okay. All right, we're working out. <laughs> All right. First up, we have a shoulder press. Uh, I have on here dumbbell or barbell. Most of the workout is with dumbbell, so I'm going to opt for a barbell. If you'd like to do a machine a little bit, you can do a machine instead. Uh, four sets of eight. Now it's gonna take maybe at least two warm-up sets. I don't count those as part of the eight. Four working sets to eight, so as heavy as you possibly can for eight reps. This is gonna be our big compound movement for, the, for today. We have another press, but this is gonna be the main one. There's nothing else with it. Normally I superset everything together. This is completely by itself. So first thing, give it all the energy. So we're gonna warm up and then four sets of eight. We have dumbbell lateral raises. The first part, the first three sets are so unlike me, this is crazy. We're just gonna go 12 for the first set, then 10, and then eight. So I want you working up to a really, really heavy eight. Then the final set, the absolute final set, that's where we're gonna get some spice. We're gonna do what I call an upset. So instead of going from the highest weight and dropping weight, you're gonna go from low weights with high reps. So we're gonna go 20 reps, then 15 reps, then 10 to 12 reps, and then six to eight. So you're going up in weight as the reps are going down. Hence the name upsets. And they might make you a little upset, but ton of volume at the very end. So these first three sets are just gonna kind of prepare us for the giant upset. We have one, just one humongous set. I feel like I can't actually move my shoulders at all. So I actually did uh, four sets. I did 12, 10, 8, 8 to work up to like my heaviest eight because 
I did 10 for the, the, for the last eight, so I did another eight. But when you do this, when you choose weight, I don't want you going to failure for those reps. I want you kind of like failing like two or three reps before that. So your set of 20, you should be getting like, you should be able to get like one or two more for sure because it's just gonna keep getting heavier and heavier. So you're overloading the muscle when it's already fatigued. So, ugh. we're gonna do a reverse incline. I have this fancy one because I like it, because uh, it keeps everything out of the way. First part of the set, we call these rear delt swings. So normally when you do a reverse fly, you're coming all the way out here, which is great. That is a good move. We're just gonna, the, the point of a rear delt swing is it's a, it's a partial movement. So one, we're gonna do these higher reps and you're able, because it's only a portion of the rep, it's only maybe a half rep, three quarter rep, so you can actually overload the muscle. So I want you going really heavy and we're just stopping right here. Instead of going all the way up, which gets your traps and your back involved, we're just going, we're stopping right here. So it's more, it looks sort of like a swing and you can kind of do these a little bit faster. Reps here are gonna be 20, 20 rear delt swings. And then we're gonna go right into a high row with our elbows super, high, uh, super wide to just finish out delts. You may have to drop a little bit because we're going pretty heavy with those swings. Drop the weight a little bit and then we're gonna add our bicep. All right, we have a tri set. Now it's back to regular Daniel and Bailey. Uh, because we already did shoulder press with barbell, we're now gonna change the grip placement into a neutral, some, some people call this like a power press. So I don't actually want you like going in. I want you keeping your hands out. This is a great for anyone that has any kind of shoulder injuries. Keeping a neutral grip uh, is a little bit safer on your shoulders because they're this is sort of vulnerable because you're letting it all out the weights a little bit further out so here this is just a safer position so anyone that has any kind of shoulder injuries I always suggest doing a neutral grip it is also great because I feel a neutral grip a little bit more in my anterior which is your front delt so we're going four sets of eight followed by then we're going to drop we're going to stay seated here this down and we're going to do 10 to 12 uh front raises coming out to the side and then here i want you bringing them out all the way up in front of your face 10 to 12 here and then we're going to go right into 10 to 12 seated lateral raises we're just hitting hitting the full shoulder on this one Kingdom come. Anywho, we're here, we're here to the end. So finishing off with some isolation for rear delts, just to finish her off, three sets of 10 to 12. We're doing cross body, single arm cross body, rear delt fly. And I'm gonna come from a downward. So normally when I do cable crossovers, it's, it's more, pulling at the same height, about chest level. We're gonna pull from here, and we're gonna pull downward. Kinda similar if you guys have ever done skiers uh, with dumbbells. It's gonna be a similar movement to that. So I'm gonna brace here. I don't use any handle. I just grab the cable by its balls. I'm gonna lighten it up real quick. And then I just sort of brace one arm here and I have a little twist to my body because we're going to come all the way across our body as long as it's coming over your midline, but I'm pretty much starting at my opposite shoulder. So already here, my rear delt is working and then we're going to go to more of a downward instead of keeping it up here. You're going to come downward with it. Three sets of 12 and then we're done. Another epic shoulder day. 
brought to you by dlbdailyapp.com. That link is below. Come join me every single day. If you like these YouTubes and you want to see it every single day, we'll see you on the DLB Daily app where we make progress every single day. Let's go.